Checking out Brooklyn, they just haven't shown the kind of toughness and resilience I expected to see from them this year. Whenever they face some adversity, they haven't been able to fight through it, which is really the difference between good teams and great teams, Clark. There's always going to be adversity for everybody. It's how you fight through it that really defines who you are as a team. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Utah. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And that's helped with their passing game, too, because they're getting a lot of assists by sharing the ball and moving it. Nets trail by 11. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Pass to Anderson. There's the triple. No luck. And Utah the other way now. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. A nice shot by Booker. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. Here's Johnson. And again, it's the Nets missing. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And here comes the break. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Burke. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. Here's Hayward. Great D that time from Johnson. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fellow when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Jazz lead by 10. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Energy Solutions Arena in Salt Lake City. On tap next Monday, January 19th, Andre Drummond and the Detroit Pistons take on Paul Millsap and the Atlanta Hawks. It's the real deal. by 10. Burke and Exum make the backcourt. Trevor Booker is out there with Hayward. And it's Gobert in at the 5 down low. That's the group right now for Utah. Well, he earned that one. Took the hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. Brooke Lopez, an elite scoring big man. Tremendous size and shooting touch. He might be the best low post scorer in the NBA. He kicks it to Booker. Shoots. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the feed to Anderson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Jazz ball. And for Brooke Lopez, always gifted offensively. That's a given. And where he's improved, I think, is in his defense and rebound. It takes a lot of effort to move that big body around, but he's made that commitment to really get after it, and it shows. The Jazz making a switch here. Favors is checked in. Jared Jack is checked in for Brooklyn. Favors. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Lopez, over seven foot tall, 275 pounds, guys. Not especially athletic. And that can leave him, Steve, sometimes vulnerable defending away from the rim. Yeah, that's why a lot of teams try to put him in pick and roll on the perimeter just to test his agility and try to get by him to get into the paint. And Brooklyn making a change here. Humley's checked in. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Utah leading by six. Outside Millsap. He feeds it to Burke. Nice ball movement by Utah. He kicks it to Booker. To the wing right side. Hayward dishes to Burke. Here's Booker, and right through it goes. Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Nets trail by eight. 
And Jack, here we go. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Burke kicks to Booker. Millsap passes to Fabers. Here's Booker. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. So both teams changing it up here. Trevor Booker. That one misses for Booker. Brooklyn's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Tries to save it. Bogdanovich, no luck. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And there's the pass to Ingles. That one wide left. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Johnson goes in. Bogdanovich passes to Johnson. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Dennis Kenner's checked in for the Jazz. Derek Favors. And that one falls for Favors. Nets trail by 11. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Gordon Hayward with another strong contribution so far in this one. He's on fire. And they needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. making a change here. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Lionel Hollins as he addressed his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Jazz leading by eight. Exum kicks to Gobert. Dishes it to Cantor. Passes it to Gobert. He's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Williams against Johnson. And Garnett with the basket on the assist by Johnson. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Feeds to Jack. Back to Johnson. Out to the wing. Here's Garnett. Gobert pulls it in. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. You know, I agree. He's got to know better than that. 20 seconds on the shot. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And Jack, here we go. All sorts of time. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I thought he'd make that one. That's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. Nets trail by six. And Exum with a clear path to the hoop. That's good. And the Nets with possession here. Johnson right side. Right at the free throw line. Plumley tips it back in. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way you've got to go. If you, you know, if you have good position, you've got to get after it and go for that second chance opportunity. Utah calls timeout. They're leading by six. 
A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. And the Jazz making a change here. Johnson outside. To the inside. Here's Plumley. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Now just a four-point Utah lead. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Pass to Hayward. Here's the dish to Burke. And Gobert kicks to Hayward. Nice ball movement by Utah. But Trey. That's good. Hayward's got 23. Boy, he's putting up big numbers in that three-point power, guys. Timeout call, the Nets. They're down by seven. 125 left here in the fourth quarter. One twenty-five left in the game. To the paint, here's Bogdanovich. Soft touch off the glass. Great unspoken communication between teammates leading to the nice assist and the easy score. Jazz leading by five. Pass to Cantor. Hayward dishes to Cantor. Hayward passes to Burke to the middle. Here's Cantor. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jack. He dishes it to Johnson. Down low. Plumley. Money! Things are really tightening up now as their offense has become unstoppable. Not sure where it was before, but better late than never. Utah has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Ingles. Buries it! Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Jack, here we go. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. A big bucket there to quiet this crowd, Clark. You know, that's exactly what you got to do. Take them out of the equation. Make those fans be quiet. Yep, and that's exactly what he did. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. Such a careless pass. You got to keep your head in the game here. Out called the Nets. They're losing by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson kicks to Garnett. Yes! Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. The Jazz have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so, too. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Gets the first, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Man, pressure back free throws, but he looks cool as can be. So big, and give them that three-point lead. And Jack kicks to Johnson to tie it up. Can't get the three to fall. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. And so it's Utah who scraped by with the win. It was tight, but the Nets have come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Gordon Hayward.